So most of the time we feel that our designs are not yet complete because of that flare and glare that we see in other people's design. That um light that's always coming from the back and only shining on the design, making it to have a kind of glow. Um we usually see PC designers do this, but what if I tell you that you can achieve it with your smartphone? Okay guys, in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to add a lens flare to your designs, multiple lens flares also, to achieve that kind of um, sun effect, look as if uh, there's light in your design. So without further ado, uh, let's get into it. Image I'll be using for today is this design, and um, this is a design I did for a Facebook community and um, as you can see I did everything here in Pixel Lab. Uh, I'll go over to shapes and you see the shadow I added on that to give it like a subtle glow under it. Now it's in everything and then this feed I added here. <coughs> so we have your text and the logo obviously and the image of the person. So I'm just going to go over here and save this design as PNG and as Ultra so it comes out sharp for posting for the internet. Now when this is done, I'm going to take this design to uh, an app called PS Touch or PSCC. It's basically Photoshop for Android. Yeah, so um, I'm going to head over there to PS Touch. Okay, so this is the app PS Touch. It's basically for um, just creating effects in your design, just like Photoshop. Now, if you look closely, here are some designs I've worked on, and you can see this one was designed with PS Lab, but I added this light or lens flare with PS Touch. Now, just go back, and then you can see this also. The light effect that is being added to this design yeah and you can see it also in this next calf um, product manipulation you can see how the lighting affects how the lighting affects the full viral design okay so one thing you should know Firstly, in in achieving this effect is that you have to create a light source at the back of the background. If there's no light source, your background has to be purely white. Now, this background is white. Yeah, so any light effect you're putting should be around this hair side. Should be around this hair side. This side. Or... You can put it at the top of the head here, you can put it here, or you can put it beneath. So you just want it to touch the subject, but not fully, you want it to leak on the subject. So I'll just go over to where I have my, my lens flare and I'll import it. So I want to blow this lens flare so that it doesn't have those hard edges. So I'll just blow it to this extent and then I go over to like layers panel here, blend mode, and then I'll choose screen. What screen does is that it removes every black part of the image, leaving only the bright pixels. So I'll go to transform and you see I can move this anywhere. So I want to move it here. But before that, make sure you have duplicates. Make sure you've duplicated like two times. So you can hide this duplicate and then go back to the first one and transform it and take it here and save. Now you can go back to the second duplicate and you can position it here or anywhere you want. I can put it down here. You can also increase the size and drop, drop it here. Now you can see it has like its own light coming from inside the design. You can go over and just add a final one to so make it too busy but for the course of this tutorial i'm just going to add it now you can see that it's making the design less flat now 
not all lens flares have this color you can actually go to um i think hue and saturation or replace color i don't know how to do it here in ps touch i think there should be a hue button where you can change the colors okay if you don't see i think you can use okay good you can use um you can use your rgb slider to actually change this but you know you need to not to play with this now if you want it to rhyme very well the background you have to go to black and white now you can see that it has added the black and white blending more with the background you can leave this colored if you want but i want to keep mine in black and white and you can see if i just merge this down i'll merge merge this merge down and merge down okay so you can see the difference it adds to this design now you can see it's creating like a light source from the back now i want to save this and then i'll hit this button i'll tap save to gallery tap my image and tap ok now once it's saved i'll head over to snapseed or lightroom just to bump up the textures of the design more so okay this is it so i'll just go to detail and i'll increase the structure of the design now as you can see it's bringing out the stuff i added at the back no worries just tap ok now i want to limit this only to the subjects go here and then tap view edits and then details and then go to this brush icon then painting the details inside this image just on the subject now it's bringing back or it's making the details of the image to be more prominent yeah so we have that see before and after you can also increase the sharpening just a little bit increase the structure the overall structure you have this then you can go over to ambience to kind of brighten the picture a little bit take your highlights down a bit or you can take it up okay i'll leave it up because of the lens flare then i'll increase the shadows yeah so this is before and this is after you can see those details have come back before and after so you can just tap export and yeah that's pretty much it so you can um use you can download the lens flare in the link in the description below or you can also go to google to download it um you have to make sure you're using an application that can um, perform the action of blend modes now apart from photoshop on pc the only app i know that can do it is um okay you have pin you have um pix art pix art can actually um, achieve this effect but i prefer ps touch for the reason you can also use pix art and then you can achieve this effect with um you can enhance it with snapseed so that's pretty much it i hope you learned a lot in this design and comment in the leave a comment in the comment section what tutorial you want to see next on my page so thank you